somebody Boy, show me some nice. kindness? Please, you, yes, please. On. Buenos días. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are going to disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. Keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband worked so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cole. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here, don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes something, buddy. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. 
You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. I can still feel the damn splinters in my palms from chopping logs with a fire. Well, that's just the well nature things, I guess. Yeah, they found Lucas not. Let's go. Quiet. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Hatter. man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court! where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. 
Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisk. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, <clears throat> we saw the bastard hang okay, but <clears throat> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I am sorry I asked for your help with Daddy, but at the time, I felt that I had nowhere else to turn. After reading the recent events in the newspaper, I understand much better now just how busy you have been. I don't imagine you will receive this letter, but... I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you. And I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, 